Hey, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, take the shape dividers from Thrive Architect and implement in Oxygen. Uh, this demo page shows uh, most of the shape dividers that are in Thrive Architect. Uh, let's take this nice uh, wave uh, waves shape pattern and put this in between two sections in Oxygen. So I'm going to first create a new test page. And edit it with Oxygen. I'm going to add a section that has a heading. Let's uh, call this section one and I'm going to add a text. And we'll select the uh, section and set this background. And uh, set the text color to something lighter so it can be red like that let's add one more section having a heading of uh, say section 2 and we'll save it All right, so let's inspect this particular shape divider in uh, Chrome using web developer tools. I'm going to right click on it and click on inspect. So what is currently highlighted uh, is this heading or the text waves three. That is not what we want. So I'm just going to collapse this div and go to this div and when I go inside I can see this SVG element so this is the one that we need to um, we are interested in so I'm just going to select this div and uh, copy by pressing command C on my keyboard if you are a Windows user just you can press Control C so copy that that is going to copy the HTML of that particular uh, div and I'm going to put this, put that in a code or text editor so I can just uh, have a look and edit it. Okay. Now we can use this code as it is and paste it in Oxygen if you wish, or you can just delete a few unnecessary things. So, for example, this div, it has uh, these uh, data properties that are not required in our case so I'm just going to hit delete and copy the CSS and I'm going to open the structure panel select the first section and inside this section I'm going to add the code block and paste that for PHP and HTML like that. Now we are done with the HTML part and now we need to copy the CSS uh, from Thrive Architect into Oxygen. As you can see here we have got uh, for this TVE page section out, absolute positioning and few other CSS properties. So I could copy that CSS and go to primary and CSS and paste here. Now this do has a class uh, TVE page section out and therefore in this selector this is the only part that we need to retain this is not required because the parent element 
which is the section in our case this section it does not have this class so I am going to go to the code block and select the CSS and just delete that okay if you are going to have only one section in your page or template then adding this CSS in here is fine but if you are going to have more than one shape divider then it makes sense to uh, take this generic CSS and put it throughout the site the reason why I say it is generic is because if you observe uh, a different shape divider that also has the same class and the same CSS So assuming that you're going to have more than one shape divider in your site, uh, I'm going to cut that and go to manage style sheets and create a new folder. You can give a name, your name or your project name for the folder name and select that and add a style sheet of say called main and inside that I'm going to add that CSS. Okay, so let's select this SVG element and take a look at the CSS. It's called the uh, position of absolute. And I'm assuming that uh, there will be a drop down in Thrive Architect where you can select whether you want the shape divider to be at the top or bottom. But regardless of what you select, uh, this CSS position absolute applies to both. So I'm going to just copy this entire CSS. And this also is a generic CSS which should be throughout the site. And uh, I'm going to delete that there. I'm going to delete this Thrive wrapper that is not applicable in our case. Now, when I say site wide, it really depends upon the context. Sometimes you may want to use shape divider, I mean, more, more than one shape divider on a single page or in a single template. Then, it makes sense to put this CSS specific to that entity that is either that page or that template. So it's you need to take that call. Anyway, it really does not matter. It, it, it will work fine regardless. So I've got that here. So next thing we need to do is this particular CSS which is specific to this shape divider. How do I know that? Because this SVG element, it has got this attribute data dash CSS and the name. And to that, you can see that this CSS is being applied. So I'm going to copy that and go to structure and code block and CSS. And I'm going to paste that here. Okay, let's collapse this, collapse this. Okay, it's already looking good. I just want to ensure that, uh, well, anyway, just let's just save this. Go here and reload. And the shape divider is not really appearing at the correct place. That is because um, it has got absolute position and the CSS but we need to set its parent uh, a position of relative so I'm going to select this section and go to advanced layout and set the position to relative save it so now when I come here and reload it appears correctly at the bottom and now we need to add some space below the text so that uh, we can really see the shape divider properly so I'm gonna select the section and just increase the increase the padding like so okay, let's go here reload and here is the beautiful shape divider okay now let's see how to control this responsibly and I'm gonna go and take a look at 1120 and below I think it's fine 
992 and below I feel that uh, the height of the shape divider is a bit too much and so we need to reduce the height okay so I'm gonna go to CSS and copy that CSS and add a media query at 992 like that and we are only interested in changing the height so let me just make this 100 pixels and see how it looks how about 120 yeah I think that's fine so let's collapse this and I'm gonna select the section and reduce the padding so it is not so much I think I need to increase Yeah, let's save it. Okay, so let's go to 768. And I feel that it is too much, the height of the shape divider. So I'm gonna go to that code block, CSS, and uh, copy this, and change this to 768, and change the height to how about 80. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's collapse the editor, select the section and reduce the padding at the bottom. Okay, that's good. So now let's go to 480 and uh, I think it's okay but if you want you can really just follow the same process and uh, reduce the height of the shape divider and then select the section and reduce the padding if you want. Okay, let's just save it and go here and reload and F12 and you can see that as I reduce the width of the window the height of the shape divider and the padding get adjusted and everything looks neat All right, so you got to repeat the same process for any other shape divider. It's pretty much the same uh, process. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.